yep. So yes, top five, top five movies of all time for young girls when they're coming of age, blossoming into beautiful young women. What are your top five? I have three maybe. I feel like Mean Girls is like a classic that every girl should see. Just because of like the different dynamics that it shows of like high school or like high school could be like or is like. And you might experience a Gretchen. I love Mean Girls. I used to know it line for line kind of. And then there's like the burn book. It's just a good like view into what she may be up against when yeah. she become a girl. Like the cattiness, liking the same guy, not knowing how to fit and in. And it's not even just high school, honestly, it's really just life. Just life in yeah. general and dealing with females. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we get along great, but. Do we? That's <laughs> why. <laughs> Number two would be, for me, love and basketball. I think this is a great coming of age story, even not just for girls, but for guys, but it's kind of a love story. So like girls sometimes cling to it more, but guys love the movie too. But I think it shows you, it gives you a peek into the ups and downs of dating a guy that you're like in love with for your whole freaking life. <laughs> so you will get played. He may marry another woman or about to be marrying another woman. He may be the superstar job. You know, you may boss up and actually have your career set on fire, you know? So it's like, it just shows you the ups and downs of like you're so happy so in love and then you get your heart burned and then it's okay sometimes it can be rekindled and fixed if it's meant to be have you seen the movie 16 candles oh my god that was such a good one yeah. alex oh thanks yeah i really I like that movie too that's mm -hmm. classic yeah that's a good classic that's classic i just like i don't know i liked everything then she ended up dating a nerd mm -hmm. at the end at first it started off with everybody forgetting it was her birthday like yes. she was all in school she forgot they already forgot it was her birthday i don't know what about womanhood like is good about I'm trying to think. I mean, it was her sweet 16. So mm -hmm. in society, it's like this big thing when a woman turns 16, it should be like this celebration. You're coming into womanhood, but everyone forgot she was turning 16. Not even forgot she turned 16. I forgot it was her whole birthday. Like, <laughs> I forgot her entire birthday. And they were just acting like it was a regular day. And she was just like, oh, maybe my surprise comes later. And no, they just forgot the whole day, which sucks. I think that's a good one. What about Memoirs of a Geisha? No. I don't remember. I never watched that. Oh, that was one of my favorite movies. It can be yours. And it was it started off where it was two sisters and their father sold them into like not slavery, but like sold into them. Into be a geisha. Mm-hmm. Sold them to be a geisha. Into be a geisha. Because their mom was dying and he'd rather save the mom than keep the kids. So he's like sold the girls and then the girls got separated. Like the whole movie was about the girl because the sister left her. Like they were supposed to meet up one night and like go escape together, but she, the other girl couldn't get away, so the sister left her. But the whole movie was about the girl like just like into Entering adult womenhood, like an adulthood, like she started off real young and they used to teach her how to be a geisha and how to do her hair and her makeup. And then they sold her virginity to the highest bidder. Like not saying that's how life should be or like that's what you should like try and do. You know, I really, I just watched this clip on um, Facebook. This girl sold her virginity to the highest bidder and used it to pay for her tuition for college. What? I mean, I think that's crazy, but I mean, she kind of smart. Like, that's <laughs> smart as hell. But sorry, that was like a whole nother story. But yeah, be the fourth movie we're on, 13. Mm -hmm. And in this movie, it's like a real throwback movie. And basically the girls, they like turn 13 or this one girl turns 13 and she just starts experiencing life. She starts like having sex and like doing drugs and like wearing thongs and like tattoos. Like they go on this roller coaster of a life and not saying like that's what you should aim for and should experience, but she kind of shows you if you decide to go down this path, mm -hmm. what this you're what going to, look like. yeah, this is what life is going to look at, look like. So she kind of does it for you. All the cool things that's like hyped through. How does she end up in the end though? I can barely remember, but it's sad. Yeah. At least she comes back to her family at the end, but at the same time, she like went through so much. Like they just completely lost her. Like they just lost their child. Like she was just in the mix. She was gone. So I really liked 13. Mm, then we got one, one more. more. I was gonna say, but I don't know if you've seen it, even though you really should see it. But we were we were raised kind of differently. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? The I color see. purple. Yes, I've seen the color purple. <laughs> Half. Finally something I see. Yay. I think the color purple is a good coming of age story for womanhood. Yeah. I think that's a good one too. I agree with that. That's so funny. You didn't think I seen the color purple. You know the patty cake thing? Oh yeah. Something dun dun. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Man, that part. Uh, uh, never part. Yeah. I think that's how I go. My favorite part was like, you show sure is ugly. <laughs> that's my favorite part. But she sure was ugly, but but that's me, whatever. <laughs> what? So yes, top five coming of age movies for young 
women. Number one was Mean Girls. Number two was Love and Basketball. Number three was your movie. 16 Candles. Oh yeah, 16 Candles. <laughs> and number four <laughs> was 13. Uh, Geisha. Oh, Memoirs of a Geisha. It sure was. Mm -hmm. Then we had more. Number five was 13. Mm -hmm. And then number six was the color, the color Purple. purple. <laughs> the Color Purple. <laughs> I was thinking it. <laughs> But yeah. That's it. Watch all those movies, okay? And feel womanly, feminine, and fierce. I should have added um, mm -hmm. Devil Wears Prada. Oh, yeah. I mean, that could be like. I feel like that's like post high school. Like when you're trying, trying to find, find your, your career and your like way in like your field. Yeah. You know, you gotta be like at the bottom to get your way to the top. And it really shows you, like, okay, if I like grind hard enough, I could do it. You know, I love the movie though. Just because it's like all about like the fashion industry and she was an assistant. That's real. It shows you that. And even in beauty, mm -hmm. there's yeah. So yeah, seven. The end.